taps out for Harambe, taps out for Harambe. So, it's a nice day outside, right? How about that local sports team? They're doing pretty good this year. Okay, we got it. I'm so lost already. This is Monkey Man, and thank you for joining me in another episode of Operation Food Computer. Today is a very special day. Why am I pointing scissors at you? Take that! <laughs> Today is a very important day because we're going to be starting the most important part of the food computer, which is think brain. Think. What is the word for it? Motherboard. We're going to be starting the motherboard today using uh, this board that we had pre cut out which is the perfect width, but like three, two or three inches too long. But we were going to see if that made a difference at all when we put it on there. I don't think it should make a difference, so we shouldn't have to cut it. But if we do, that won't be a problem. I'm just lazy and don't want to cut it. But I'm looking at the food computer. You guys can't see it, but there's something there, I swear. I'm not just looking away. But we need to go on the computer, find out where we need to drill our holes. So we're going to mark out all the holes. Um, we'll do like a speedy up bit of us cutting out the holes. Um, I'll take you guys to the computer in a second, but we got a new package this week. So we're going to go ahead and open that up real quick from China. Let's see what we got from China. Okay, so in the package from China that we didn't know about that came, uh, we, got some, we got a digital light sensor and a temperature humidity sensor. Very important. So we'll be using this for the motherboard. I don't know how much of the motherboard we're going to get done though, um, besides the hole cutting. We might put the fans in and like the air intake box that we opened up last week. We'll see how much we can get done today and then we'll probably finish up with the motherboard next episode. So we'll see. I'll take you to the computer to look at where we need to cut the holes though. And we're back in our handy dandy Grow Hardware Master folder. Let's see where we can find the mother... Is it going to be in the motherboard assembly guide? I would think it's going to be in the CAD where we need to put the holes. Subassembly? Motherboard subassembly. Let's see if this is right. I don't want you to access my email. Don't ask me again. Okay, good. Didn't ask me. Okay, this looks like what we need. Can I print this out in any way? I wonder if I could print out like a picture of this and then label it. Let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, file print. Can we do like a preview? Where's my preview? Hello? Print preview. Okay. I just hit hide preview and it glitched me. This is a cool black screen. And without doing a preview, we'll just print it out and see what happens. Printing. It's coming up! So, it's a nice day outside, right? How about that local sports team? They're doing pretty good this year. Okay, we got it. We got a picture of our thing. There we go. We got a little bit bigger one. So we printed out a little bit bigger one with the holes. And then what I'm going to do is just write on here. I'm just going to like draw arrows on the paper and then see what sizes we need.
And we're back after what was probably like a half an hour or so to cut the holes out. It wasn't too bad, but it took a little bit longer for me because I had to charge my drill halfway through. But other than that, it was pretty straightforward. The measuring took probably like 10 minutes where I just kind of like um, put little dots where the holes would be and stuff. But this is our finished board. Well, not finished, finished, but there's some holes there. See? Got a couple of holes there. Let's see, where is... I left the drawing outside, but it turned out pretty good. There's our two four and a half inch holes there. Um, so it's going to go like this. And then I drilled out those tiny holes on the sides right here. So hopefully those line up with what's already on, well, the board that we already have attached to the baseboard. It's got to line up with that. And I think we're going to have to actually drill some more holes on the baseboard, um, which is fine. Um, I think we're just going to have to put it this on the board that we have there and then drill through these holes and then drill through the other board and then bolt it on. But that shouldn't be no problem. Fingers crossed. But um, I thought we'd just come on here and print out the instructions on how to do the motherboard assembly. Um, I think these are them right here. <laughs> is you? Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and print this out. 31 pages, holy smokes. Let's do it. Okay, so the first step here is gonna be, okay, plant side of electronics panel is gonna look like that, got it. That's the user side, got it. These are all the components, I think, and how they fit together on the motherboard. Assembling the electronics panel is tricky, great. You just have to consult two or three of the diagrams at once. Oh, is that all? The pictures of position give an indication of where the components are placed on the panel. The schematic gives real wiring and polarity. Okay, that's important. Polarity for assembling the subcomponents. Soldering will be required to join some wires. Okay, check, because we got the soldering iron delivered last week. Or we had purchased it, I mean. Okay, so it looks like they have us first doing the electronics, the 120 volts um, AC control module. So I guess that's what we're going to start with, you guys. Um, this is printing out now, just finishing up. I'm going to take the board that we just cut holes in upstairs, and we'll start gathering some of this stuff to put the control module together. All right, let's do this, you guys. I got my instructions here. I'm in front of a pile, a whole bunch of our goodies. Let's see what we need to be doing for this control panel. We got, okay, that, that. Materials, okay. Two gang box bottom. I think that's this. Two gang box bottom. Two gang box top. I think that's this thing. Got it. Two channel AC sockets times two. AC sockets. Okay, got them. These things. Two AC sockets times two. Four channel relay. Okay, that is um, JB Tech 4 channel DC. Is this it? DC switching, DC switching. Doesn't look like I have any cables. Six foot three prong extension cable. This is 12 foot. Okay, sure. We we'll we got the twelve foot. I'm so lost already. What? What are you? Nothing. And we're back, and we need better instructions because we can't figure out what. We have the gang box bottom. We got the gang box top. We got the two channel AC sockets. Uh, four channel relay. Unsure. We have the three port wago and the five port wago. But we need better instructions how to put this junk together. Electronic schematic? Oh, this is a bigger version. So this is what it looks like closer up. Let's print let's go ahead and print this out. Okay, so we do have this and this, but we have two DC modules. I don't know if there's a difference. These look the same to me. We have this, we have this and this, this, we need a six foot long one of those. We needed a six foot, I think, yeah, six foot, um, three prong, 
six foot three prong extension cable. I couldn't find a six foot, so I got an eight foot one. And then I found we needed two like one foot long ones, I think it said on the computer, but I had these laying around. I had two extra, um, 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 ex what are these called? Power strips, and they're about uh, like two feet long. So these are like, you can see they're like all dirty and stuff. So I'm just gonna cut these and use these cables instead of having to buy new one foot ones. So that'll save us some money. Um, so I'm gonna get started with the instructions again. Uh, back to where we were. As far as we can get along without the um, what's your The six channel relay cables we have yet to order, so we'll have to get some of those this week so we can finish off. Um, but we can still like hook up all these thing and doodlers this week. Um, let's see. We need a medium Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I have a medium not Phillips screwdriver. I get tired of these stairs. Okay. Medium Phillips screwdriver. Check. Next. Wire strippers. Check. Next. Hot glue gun. Check. In the corner. Hammer. Check. Tool consumables. Hot glue, electrical tape, duct tape, and permanent marker. Okay? Uh, sure. Check. Instructions. Create a shortened AC connector, 10 inches total length male. So that's what we'll use this for, the extra, extra cable. Let's see, where's our scissors? 10 inches. That is, do we have, eh. Let's grab this. Rule, rule of hair. And measure 10 inches. Boom. And right here. Cut. Snip, snip, snip. Cut. Okay. Done. So it says 10 inches total cable length. Okay, to include the prongs. Done. Strip off approximately 2 inches of the outer encasement from the cable. Okay. So we got these three wires. I got white, black, and green. That might be a problem since I bought red, black, and green. Okay. I stripped off two inches. So we're gonna strip off approximately half an inch of insulation from each of the three wires exposed. Okay, half an inch. And three. Like so. Beautimous. Uh, tap out a center tab from the two gang box bottom. Okay, I'm tapping out the center tab. I think that's, there's like this little tab in here. I'm tapping it. Tap. Okay, now what? My tap's out for Harambe. I got my tap out for Harambe. Tap out for Harambe. Mm. Taps out for Harambe. Taps out for Harambe. Got it. Center tap. From the two gang box bottom, Feed the exposed wire end of the extension cable through this hole. Feed the exposed wire through this hole and connect to the Wago lever connectors. You must put the extension cable through the hole before attaching the connectors.
and we're back after a mazillion hours working with wires. It is a very tedious task putting together this 120 volt AC control module. And the only reason we did not finish yet is because we need to order the six channel male to female jumper wires. And we have the screws and we need a female jumper to groove cable times two. So we need to order those this week. We got down to dun 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 to here? Yeah, we got down to step number, what is this? Nine? Connect control cables to the relay block. Um, so we only have like one, two, three, four more steps to go once we order the cables next week. Hopefully we get them by next weekend um, so we can test the device. So I took pictures of how far along we got today and then I'm gonna order the things this week and I'm gonna go to bed because I am tired but thank you for watching if you enjoyed this episode please hit that like button and show your support and subscribe to join the barrel if you haven't already done so and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys